Hello travelers, welcome to Travel Assistante. Peru has it all. The Inca Empire's ruins, stunning landscapes, beaches, and nightlife. No matter what kind of traveler you are, there is always something to keep you occupied. In fact, there are so many wonderful places to see in Peru that you'll need to carefully plan your itinerary. See our list of suggested places to visit in Peru for assistance. Peru is a country in Western South America that borders Ecuador, Colombia to the north, Brazil to the east, and Ecuador to the west. Peru is home to many ancient cultures that bear witness to its historical importance. The months of May to September are ideal if you want to visit Cusco or go on the Machu Picchu trek because it is a dry season and visitors can easily explore the best attractions of these cities. While the wettest season, which runs from December through March, features frequent intense downpours. And from April to October, the weather can change quite a bit here, much like it can in the UK. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu, one of the new seven wonders of the world and Peru's top tourist attraction, lives up to the hype as a mysterious and breathtaking archaeological site from the 15th century. Machu Picchu is a complex of temples, private quarters, and ceremonial platforms that continues to emit a sacred energy. It was built with amazing precision and attention to detail at a great height of 7,972 ft. 2,430 OM above sea level. A two-hour train ride from Olante Tambo, a town in the Sacred Valley, will take you to Machu Picchu, which means Old Peak in the native Quechua language of the Andes. The truly daring can also follow in the Inca's footsteps by hiking the traditional Inca Trail, a four to five day journey that covers 26 miles, 42 kilometers of terrain. The Inca Trail. Many people consider the famous Inca Trail, a four day hike that ends at Machu Picchu, as the high point of their trip to Peru. This beautiful trail is frequently more difficult than what many people anticipate, but it's also rewarding and among the most well liked activities in Peru. The Inca Trail has a few different starting points, but the standard four day hike starts at KM 82 of the Cusco Aguas Calientes rail line. From here, the trail travels through stunning scenery and more than 30 Inca ruins. The second day of the hike, which involves two high passes and an elevation gain of 1,200 meters, is the most challenging part of the trail, 
Reservations should be made well in advance, especially during the peak hiking season from June to August. The hike must be done with an agency. Lake Titicaca Lake Titicaca's glistening blue waters are encircled by undulating hills and traditional small villages. The lake region stands out from other parts of the country due to its combination of stunning scenery and unique culture. At 3,820 meters above sea level, Lake Titicaca is the highest navigable lake in the world. The best way to experience the lake is on a boat trip to the islands and nearby villages. The Euros Floating Islands Islas Flotantes, which support small communities of Euros Indians, are one of the main tourist attractions. Since the Inca era, these are artificial islands made of reeds that have supported a traditional way of life. And if you are a traveler, like and subscribe for more videos. Nazca Lines The enigmatic Nazca Lines are an extraordinary sight that will astound you. Prior to planes flying over the area in the 1920s realizing the lines formed distinct patterns and images, these enormous images on the desert floor had gone largely unnoticed. The hillside carvings near Nazca and Paracas, which are visible from the ground, had some recognition before that. Aerial views are necessary to fully appreciate the enormous drawings which cover the entire flat desert floor. The drawings of 70 different plants and animals as well as countless numbers of lines and other geometrical shapes can all be seen from the air. These lines are dispersed over hundreds of square kilometers, some of which are up to 10 kilometers long. Olente Tambo. Your itinerary for a trip to the Sacred Valley should include a stop at the fortress and ruins in the charming little town of Olente Tambo. It's a lot of fun to stroll around the town. It has a fantastic selection of vendors selling handmade crafts, much like Pizak. With two impressive Inca ruins towering over the village, it is a picturesque location. Spend some time exploring the ruins by making your way up the hill. Highlights include the magnificent wall of the six monoliths and the princess bath. The pink Luna, an old storehouse, and the terraces of Pumatillis are close by. Puerto Maldonado and the Amazon. Puerto Maldonado, which is a major starting point for tours of the Amazon, is only a half-hour flight from Cusco. This region of Peru offers a completely different experience than other regions of the country. With hot, humid jungle and the opportunity to see a wide variety of unusual wildlife. In this region of the country, you can anticipate seeing caimans, capybaras, monkeys, parrots, turtles and piranhas. The two main attractions are the national parks of Bahuaja Sonene and Reserva National Tambopata, both of which are well served by a number of jungle lodges.
That's it guys, I hope you enjoy the video and subscribe.